Hey everyone, I haven't had a chance to make a follow-up video to my Spectrum Plus 3 unboxing and power on videos yet, partly because I'm sitting on the fence trying to decide what to do about the internal drive. Do I fix it and source some 3-inch floppies so I can demonstrate the system, or do I replace it with a GoTek? Um, and if I do replace it with a GoTek floppy emulator, do I buy the faceplate to mount it? Or do I buy a 3D printer and print my own faceplate to mount it? And, all right, that's not the only reason I buy a 3D printer. I've been thinking about that for a while. This is just another convenient excuse, really, but it's an expense, and I'm trying really hard not to blow too much money right now for reasons I'll explain later. In the meantime, though, I have, despite what I just said, spent more money on a Spectrum QL. I actually started looking for a Sam Coupe because I remember doodling the, the awesome-looking 80s very 80s case back when it was released um, but then I found out how much they're selling for on eBay right now and I changed my mind pretty rapidly instead I found a reasonably priced Sinclair QL and I bought that I'll admit I always wanted a QL back in the day too they just seemed like such an awesome piece of kit when they were released and they still seemed awesome even after they'd been discontinued and I'd moved on to the plus three by that point um, I guess I'll talk more about them when I actually unbox the QL and show it to you all. So, all of that isn't really what I wanted to make this video about at all. What I actually wanted to do was make a short video about a recent trip to Paris and the retro gaming and technology places that we visited there. First, I want to give a huge recommendation to the Atelier des Lumières exhibition in the 11th, uh, not far from Boulevard Voltaire. Uh, in English, that's the Workshop of Lights. It's an absolutely stunning multimedia installation with three exhibitions running until the 31st of December. Uh, the Art of Van Gogh, Japan Dreamed, and a short film called Verse. All three are amazing, um, as you can see from the footage that I'm talking over right now. You can easily spend a couple of hours just watching the images float by on the walls, the floors, sunken pools of water, go to the small theatre in there and watch a longer version of verse. They're really incredible. The video footage doesn't do it justice at all. It's, it's just stunning. And if you're in Paris, you really, really should go. Second, I want to talk about Boulevard Voltaire itself. There's probably a dozen or more shops dedicated to video games, uh, retro video games, anime, manga. Uh, they're probably all worth a visit. Unfortunately for us, we were there on a Sunday, um, so a lot weren't open. But we did wander around a couple, notably one called Retro Gameplay uh, and the anime store next door. Retro Gameplay has a huge selection of games from the 1980s through to today. And when I say huge, I mean there must be thousands and thousands of games in there. Uh, consoles, accessories. I didn't take any pictures, so here's a few from Google Maps instead, but they really do have everything. Every kind of Game Boy you can imagine. NES, SNES, Super Famicoms. Um, 
There was even an Amstrad GX4000, I think it is, games console. It's basically an Amstrad CPC 464 in a console box. Very nearly bought that. Um, then I didn't, because again, I shouldn't be spending money. Um, totally, totally worth a visit. That whole avenue. Really worth a visit for anybody into into video games, anime, or manga, and in Paris. And then lastly, I want to give a big shout out to a bar called Reset. It's right around the corner from the Forum at Le Havre, which is a sort of shopping centre-y thing. Um, they have a, a great selection of themed cocktails, but more than that, they have a sizable selection of retro and modern consoles and retro arcade cabinets set up, all ready to play, all free to play, as long as you buy a drink. So obviously, we bought a couple of drinks, and my fiance set about beating me at Mario and Street Fighter. I probably should have played on the Ghostbusters arcade cabinet instead, because I've never seen one of those before, but I guess that's for next time. Um, and other than that, I, I just wanted to say that my fiancé became my fiancé rather than just my girlfriend. That's not related to anything retro gaming, so you probably don't want to hear about that. Um, so I think that's all I have to share for now. I promise I'll figure out what I'm doing with the Plus 3, make a video about the QL, finally unbox my two Checkmate 1500 cases, uh, do something with those, and I actually do something with the Amiga 1500, the 500, and the 1200 to show you all. But right now, the other other project is taking up most of my time, and that project is finishing building my kit car, which is a replica Shelby Cobra, in time to be used as a wedding car next year, hopefully. So, till next time, thanks for watching.